Chaos Project, Asynchronous and Synchronous Bus. But before we do that, we must know, what is a bus? A bus is a part of the computer. It is an interconnection network used to transfer data among the processor, memory, and I.O. devices. I.O. devices here refer to things like keyboards and mice. Note that only one source destination pair of units can use this bus to transfer data at any one time. A bus contains three sets of lines, address, data, and control. Input and output devices like keyboards and mice, as mentioned before, are connected to these lines. All of them have unique addresses for the registers in its interfaces. This is how a bus looks like. Note that all of them are interconnected to each other. In a bus, when a processor places an address on it, bus decoders will examine the address. The decoder that recognizes the address will respond to the command on the control lines of the bus structure. Processor use control line of bus structure to either issue a read or write operation. Data requested will be sent over the data line of the bus st structure. Now where is synchronous and asynchronous bus? But first, we must know how a bus operates. Don't worry, it'll be short and sweet. Bus operation. A bus has a bus protocol, dictating how the bus is used by other devices. It determines things like when devices may load data onto its registers and etc. It is implemented by control signals that tell when or what actions are supposed to be taken. Now, bus control lines carry timing information. They carry timing information of when processor or input or output devices can place data or receive data. In any data transfer, they must have a master, the initiator, and the slave, device addressed by the master. What is a synchronous bus? A synchronous bus is a bus clock that provides timing information and all devices on the bus can read the clock line. First of all, the master will send address and command information to the slave. The slave then immediately decodes the information and from there, go on and access the data as requested by the master. Once the data is ready, it is placed on the bus and the slave sends a slave ready signal to the master. The master, who has been waiting for the signal, then loads the data into the register at the end of the clock cycle. The slave then removes data signals from the bus and returns to slave ready mode. With the bus transfer now complete, the master will then call upon the slave again to send new address and command information. What is an asynchronous bus? An asynchronous bus is an alternative scheme for controlling data transfers on a bus. It is based on the use of a handshake protocol between the master and slave. This is how data transfers are controlled by the handshake protocol. The master places the address and command information on the bus. It then indicates to all devices that it has done so by activating the master ready line. This causes all devices to decode the address sent by the master. The selected slave then performs the required operation and informs the processor that it has done so by activating the slave ready line. The master waits for the slave ready to become asserted before it removes its signal from the bus. If I would have sworn, I'd be gone. Three, 
created using Powtoon.